What's up, guys? The new episode, or new to me, new episode of, of, of Iron Fist, and I just thought it was an expression before, but it's a literally an Iron Fist, like when he becomes an Iron Fist, his fist becomes iron, and that's kind of ironic. Excuse me, the lame pun, but I just wanted to make a joke. Anyway, so the episode starts basically the continuation of episode three. He just like I thought he'd just fallen to his death, but actually he he he, he fell to a to a light sculpture, I guess, kind of thing it is. He just hanging from there and just like I must I must harness the energy of my kunlun. It's funny because as soon as he says that he falls to 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 a floor that's beneath him and then just like he wakes up in a strong strange place, it's like, dude, it seems like like a like a common like a common trope of, of one of one of these characters at least, or at least all of these characters. They're always waking up in some weird ass places. So he wakes up, and then he he's like talking to Ward, uh, talking to Ward, and it's like like uh, uh how 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 Harold comes in and it's like, am I seeing a ghost? And at this point, like it, I just realized at this point he doesn't realize that he's actually. You know, alive, and uh, for some reason, like when he when he saw him in the hospital, I thought he was just drugged up. That's what he. That's why he thought he, he was a, he was a ghost, but actually, he just like he didn't realize, you know, he's still alive. Which it felt kind of like brain fart for me because, well, duh, he's living he's living in isolation, of course. So so they have kind of like a discussion, and it feels really kind of awkward because to me at least, it's like um. You know, Harold sees him as his son, and obviously, like, but then again, like, you know, uh, uh, Ward has always been an asshole to Danny, so it seems kind of makes sense. But how the scene goes on, it feels, it feels kind of like a trap. It feels kind of like they're setting him up on purpose. You know, just kind of like, you know, uh, but, but, uh, like, so long story short, they they make him the the, the head of of, of in his rightful place, in, in kind of like a, a brand industry, the, the CEO, the actually the not the CEO, but like the 51% of the shareholders. So basically, whatever he says basically goes. You know, whatever whatever he wants happens. You know, so so when they're in the in the in the when they're in the meeting, you know, they say like stick to the script or you're out. You know, but it's, it's kind of like playing hardball at that point, you know, which is kind of, you know, if you know any kind of behind the scenes type of deal, you know, that's basically how it is. Follow the script. The script is mostly important, you know, all that other crap. So when they start answering questions, it's kind of like they feel like they're in hot water and shit, so whatever. And anyway, fast forward, fast forwarding later in the episode, like uh, when, when they have this kind of meeting, it, it's kind of funny because it's like when you attend his first meeting, it feels kind of like, like, a, like a, uh, like um, an Adam Sandler movie, it's kind of like, he goes to the meeting and he just looks so out of place, I mean, it's not like he's wearing anything funny, he, he's just wearing a suit, but it's like he does so, it's just awkward situation, like in a serious moment, it's kind of like, just looks at him stupidly, you know, um, so, so, so he's like, how about let's make this pill at cost? And everybody's kind of like a shock. It's like, like this is gonna hurt our company. This is gonna hurt our image. Which the funny thing is, I mean, yeah, it's gonna hurt them financially. But you know, at the end of the episode, it's like, like a uh, hero CEO save the day and all this other stuff. It's good in PR, but you know, financially, it's not really a good look for the company. But you know, it's like, but which is a kind of ironic thing about you know, the pharmaceutical companies, like, they're there supposedly for the customers, but in reality, they're just there for the money. He says it's called a business, you know, take a, a business out of it, then it's like, then it's just, we're pharmaceuticals, but then again, anything in America, you gotta have your money, you know, if you don't have your money, to me, money. It basically, the world goes round with the money. So basically, obviously, they're, they're pissed off at him. But like the the, 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 the the Harold is like, no, this is a good thing, you know. Like, trust me, trust in my word. So anyway, later goes on in the episode. Um, they 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 get it. Uh, 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 both Danny and the girl get um, joy. 
for some reason, I uh, I forgot the name right now, but like when I was watching the episode, I was remembering AM Joy, you know, that stupid news show on, you know, whatever. But for some reason, I'm, I remember it. Anyway, so Joy and Yang get attacked. And it's interesting, the thing is, because it's like, it feels like, like, now in this in this episode uh, of the plot is really picking up and and the action is picking up so much as well because well I'm gonna talk about this part right here and then before we'll go on anyway uh, so essentially they they, they they get in a in a situation with with like all these men attack uh, 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 both Danny and Joy at the same time and this crazy thing is now it's with axes now it's just instead of just like how Daredevil was with 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 uh, with uh, uh, sorry hatchets, not axes, um, with uh, chains and all that shit. It's like, and it's crazy though because there's this, there's this one point where like he reaches the elevator, and you know they're gonna t- uh, uh, throw throw something in his hand, and it's just, it's funny because that a hatchet just ricochets and hits someone else. And it's like oh, like the, what I said earlier. It's like his fist literally turns into an iron fist, and it's, and it's so crazy, you know. So um. Um, so, like, what I was saying, though, like, it's kind of, oh, I forgot my train of thought, but basically, uh, what I was saying, damn it, I forgot, honestly forgot, um, oh, but, like, I think, forget what I was going to say, whatever, but, um, so, so, oh, yeah, what I was going to say is, like, uh, I guess, is, so, Danny actually finds out, finds out, like, what is, what the hell is going on, and, it's funny though because like when they're having a confrontation with the other old man, he just says in Mandarin, um, you know, the hand, and then all of a sudden they back up and it's like, oh shit, we don't we don't have want no problem with it. It's like the people with hatchets that attack Danny, as soon as he says hand in Mandarin, they're like, oh crap, you know, look, never mind, it's a hand, go oh, bye bye, you know. And I think it's kind of funny and early in the episode he like, said like, there's the hand in Rand. And they unintentionally grind, and just, that in itself is just hilarious. Excuse my what the breaks. And um, so yeah, this is it. Feels it feels kind of funny though because a few episodes ago in the pilot, it's like he just he just some poor boy that just so happens to wander into the city, and everybody doesn't freaking out on who he is, and now he's in the company. So to me, it feels kind of like a trap, like like it's kind of like you know. That's what they. That's where they want him to be, you know. And later, I have a feeling like later in the in the in the next few episodes, it's gonna be like, well, this is by accident. I'm my bad. We didn't really mean it, you know. So that's pretty much um, the, the the whole highlight of the episode. You know, uh, if you've seen the season so far, if you've seen the series, tell me what you think and like all that other stuff. And what other shows you want me to check out? And I, that's pretty much the end of it. So, um, so please like, share, subscribe, all this other stuff, and I'm out at the past, and see you with another video.